Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, can we create an object for an interface in Java? The answer is no. We cannot create an object for an interface in Java. If you try to do so, you are going to get a compiler error, okay? If you try to create an object for an interface in Java, we are going to get a compiler error. So the compiler error will say, cannot instantiate. EIAT. Okay, stand EIAT. Okay, cannot instantiate for this particular interface. Okay, cannot in, uh, instantiate an interface, it will say. The reason is, we cannot create an object for an interface, guys. Interface or abstract classes, we cannot create object, okay? In Java, for all the other classes, we can create objects, but except for the abstract class and interfaces, we cannot create, okay? We cannot create objects, okay? Because these abstract classes and interfaces are all about, you know, uh, what you say? Abstraction, hiding. So some of the things will be implemented, and some of the things won't be implemented in the abstract class. Hence, we cannot create an object for the abstract class. And coming to interface, it's complete abstraction, guys, full abstraction. So nothing will be implemented in the interface. All the things will be defined in the interface only. Only definitions will be there in the interface and implementation won't be there. Hence, there is no need of creating an object for an interface. That's what Java believes. And in abstract classes also, since everything is not implemented in the abstract classes, something is implemented, something is not implemented. That is partial implementation is there in the abstract classes. So hence, Java feels that it's not a good thing to create an object, okay, for that abstract class because some of the things are partially implemented, some things are implemented, some things are not implemented. So then, how to access the members of this interface or abstract classes? By creating the child classes, okay? We can create the child classes for this partially implementing the abstract classes or fully abstracting interfaces and in the child class, whatever that are not implemented in the interface or abstract classes, we are going to implement. And for that child classes, we can create object and using that object reference of the child classes, we can access all the members of the abstract classes or interfaces. That's what we do in Java, okay? So simple straightforward answer for this question is, can we create an object for an interface in Java? The answer is no guys, we cannot create an object, okay, for an interface in Java. And if you try to do so, you are going to get a compiler error saying cannot instantiate. I'm going to practically show you uh, that uh, how you are going to get a compiler error on trying to create an object for the interfaces in Java, okay? So for that, I'll switch to the Eclipse ID. I'm going to create an interface, guys. How to create an interface? Right click on this and uh, click on new. And uh, here, instead of selecting a class, just select interface option, okay? When you select interface option, you have to give the interface name, guys, okay? So don't select a right click new class option, select right click new interface option. So here give some name like a, a interface A, okay? I'm just giving some name like interface A as the name for the interface and the interface will get created and here you see the interface keyword will be there, okay? Before the interface name, interface keyword will be there. For the class, class keyword will be there, but for the interface, interface keyword will be there, okay? So inside this interface, whenever you create method, by default, the methods will not have any body if you try to create Okay, uh, method with body inside this interfaces, you are going to get some error because by default, all the methods inside the interface are abstract type by default. Even though you don't specify abstract keyword before the methods in this interface, by default in the interface, all the methods public wired, if I create a method like sample and try to create a method body here, you see, starting of the method, ending of the method. If you try to implement this method immediately, Java compiler will give you an error because abstract methods do not specify a body. Even here, I didn't specify an abstract keyword, but by default, the methods in the interface are abstract type. Hence, the methods cannot contain body. Okay, I have to remove this and put a semicolon. You see, only definition of the methods is possible for the interface, okay? Like that, you can create any, any number of methods, but all the methods should only be declared, guys. They cannot be implemented, okay? So, for example, public void, uh, if I say method two, it cannot have method body. Again, you will get the same error saying abstract methods do not specify body. By default, the methods in the interface are abstract type, okay? Even though there is no abstract keyword here, by default, they are abstract type, okay? So like that, no matter how many methods you create, all the methods inside the interface are going to be abstract type by default and they cannot 
contain a method body okay they cannot be implemented they can only be defined now let's see whether we can create an object for the interface uh, which has this uh, methods which are not implemented he here full abstraction guys nothing is implemented only definition stuff is there okay we generally create an interface to create to define something okay but we are not going to write any logic for any of these methods okay in the interface so full abstraction is there so java believes that creating an object for an interface what you will access these methods which are not implemented what is the use of accessing such kind of methods which are not implemented in an interface is there anything happens when you create an object for this interface that's why java believes that let's not create an object okay? let's not allow the users to create an object for the interface because even the users try to create an object for the interface what they will get by accessing these methods which are just defined but not implemented that's what is the problem that java thought and so as per the rules and regulations of java java have decided that either for abstract classes which have partial implementation or for interfaces which have full abstraction no implementation at all there is no use of creating objects because by you by using that object reference we cannot access anything okay there is no use of doing that okay so it's better to avoid the uh, to you know restrict the users from creating object that's what java thought of and even if you try to create an object java will give you a compiler error saying that objects cannot be created for the interfaces or cl abstract classes okay so i'll try to create one you know uh, try to create one class okay i demo okay i demo and with main method i'll create and uh, in this i demo i'll try to in this class i'll try to create an object for this interface and you can see that objects cannot be created for the interface in live new interface k if i try to create an object for the interface immediately i'm getting an error you see this new keyword in java can be used for creating an object right if i try to use a new keyword for creating an object you see i'm getting an error saying cannot instantiate the type interface a okay i is equal to interface a this is a full object creation statement doesn't matter guys okay the same error will come cannot instantiate we cannot create object for the interface this is the proof okay if you write this kind of object creation statement you already got an error here saying that cannot instantiate the interface okay so fine guys so hope guys you got an idea like uh, uh, or answer for this question with practical demonstration in this session can we create an object for an interface in java which has full abstraction no implementation at all Java believes that by creating an object for that interface, what is the use? Okay, using the object reference, can we access some methods which are just defined in the interface? Right, that's what Java thought and has restricted us from creating an object for such kind of interfaces. And hence, Java will give you a compiler error if you try to create an object for the such kind of interfaces, saying cannot instantiate. But how to access these members? If I really want to access these members of this interface, what I have to do? have to create a child class for this interface okay have to create a child class for this interface and using the by creating an object for the child class of this interface we can access the members of this interface okay i'll show you right click new class i'll say uh, ci class child class of the interface some wording i'm giving that's okay click on finish and uh, i'm going to make this uh, just drag it here and i'm going to make this child class uh, this ci class ci class as child class of this interface a how to do that here i should not be using the extends keyword for interfaces if you want to make a particular class in java to become a child class of an interface we have to use implements keyword okay uh, but for making a class a child class of another class we have to use extends keyword but uh, for making a class a child class of an interface you have to use implements keyword and here i'll say interface a the moment i say interface a i'm getting an error here the reason behind this error is uh, there are some un unimplemented methods in this interface which are just defined in the interface since you are the child class of this particular interface okay you have to should and must implement okay should and must this particular child class should implement or this child class itself should become an abstract class I have to add the abstract keyword if this child class don't want to implement any of these methods of the interface okay or if i don't want to provide abstract keyword here i have to implement this unimplemented methods of this uh, interface in the child class okay so how to implement just try to override that's it public void sample okay i'll just create the methods so here i'll say system dot out at print and inside sample method okay method uh and one more thing i'll say here is i'll create uh there is one more unimplemented method right that's why error is not going up okay there's one more unimplemented you can hover the mouse and you can see that 
uh, must implement the inherited uh, method that is method two need to be implemented. Then only the error will be resolved. Okay, only one of these two methods which are defined in the interface are implemented by each child class. So I have to implement that method also public wide, public wide method to have to implement method to have to say and like here write down system dot out dot print and system dot out dot print inside method two. Okay, inside method two. Okay, that's it. Uh, now click on save and now the methods which are just defined okay in the interface are implemented by its child classes so though we cannot create an object for the interface directly we will get a compiler error saying cannot instantiate but we can create an object for the child class but we can create an object for the child class and by creating an object for the child class using the object reference of the child class we can access all the members of this interface which are implemented in the child class okay so how new what is the name of this class ci class right child class okay new class uh, sorry like this, I can say, and uh, here, CI is equal to, I'll just declare this with the same name, okay? So I can create an object for the child class of this interface and using the object reference of that child class of the interface, I can access the methods that is a, a sample method I can access, CI dot uh, method to I can access and all, okay, and so on, okay? So we cannot directly create an object for the interface to access the members of this interface, but we can create an object but we can create a child class for this interface and by creating an object for child class, we can implement, uh, we can access the implemented methods of this interface from the child class, okay? So hope guys, you got a detailed answer, okay? So why we can't create an object for an interface or can we create an object for an interface in Java? The answer is no, but we can create a child class for this interface and for that child class, in the child class, we can implement the un unimplemented methods of the interface and then for that child class, we can create an object and access the members of the interface, okay? So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.